It'd be nice if I was ambidextrous for things like this. <laughs> what does a mom do when she wants things done right? She does it herself. Welcome to season two of DIY Mom. When I started this renovation, it was summer and now it's almost winter. The fall has just slipped by so quickly and it's been two and a half months that we've been working on this really small apartment renovation. Uh, just things take time and renovations always seem to take longer than what you anticipated. I was hoping to do it all in a month. I'm, I'm definitely anxious about how long it's taking. The stress is piling up. I've got other projects that I need to move on to and this is taking a lot of my time. Slowly but surely, it is co all coming together. So I'm happy with the way it looks. Uh, it looks like a cool place to stay and I think my theme of it being an East Coast oasis is coming together. At Home Hardware, I found this great line of vinyl flooring by Saratech. It has foam cushioning built into it to make it a one-step installation process. It clicks together easily and goes together simply. So I decided to take out the old flooring as it was smelly and dated and put in a wide plank engineered vinyl product that is low profile and great for a basement. The old flooring is easy to pop off and I'm relieved to see that there is solid subfloor underneath, which means insulation can start right away. All I need to do is give it a good clean and then I can get started. I've never installed vinyl flooring before, but I was seriously impressed by this product and how great it looks. The flooring needs to be staggered, so I prep and cut pieces as I go. I have a chop saw and a jigsaw, and it's best to cut and install one board at a time. The installation process takes a few hours in the bedroom, and because it goes in so smoothly and looks so great, I decide I better lay it down throughout the entire apartment. I have been racking my brain with ways to try to fix this hardwood floor. Trust me, I've put in tons of mental energy thinking about it, but when it comes down to it, to fix every one of these gaps in the floors, some of them are so big, they're like quarter of an inch, and they're everywhere. I would have to spend a day just <clears throat> scraping and putting in some kind of poly and wood filler into the floors, then I would have to sand them down and then I would have to stain them. So that's like gonna be at least three days of my life. So when it came down to it, I just didn't have the time or the money to spend into refinishing these floors. So I decided to go with the Jurafusion vinyl floor covering and it's, it's been a godsend because it's so easy to put down and it's going in so quickly and it's gonna make this place look really clean. This stuff is really heavy. I think it's like at least 50 pounds a box, so carrying 10 of these is a good workout. Should I ever decide to put the time and elbow grease back into repairing the wood floors, they're there underneath the vinyl and can resurface at any time. 